Guys, wait. <gasps> wait, oh, wait, Carb! Carb found it! Hold on, wait, turn on this thing really quickly! What? You found it? Oh my god, you... Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mikey, dude, back at it again with another Piggy Intercity video. And this one's actually gonna be a little bit crazier because I'm gonna be showing you guys the easiest way to find weapons, level up inside of the game, and basically spawn any gun you want inside of this brand new game made by Minitune. Now, before we actually continue, guys, I did wanna remind you that I do have a Mikey Mob Intercity community server that will be linked down in the description. So if you guys don't wanna play in any VIP server, Servers, and you want to join the Mikey Mob, the link will be in the description. Make sure to check it out, and I will be playing on it as much as I can as I grind out this brand new game. Now, before we actually start to explore the Piggy Intercity map, I did want to talk about an update that Minitune pushed out that actually added some brand new items. Now, as you can see, he says, Ahoy, everyone! Cars are now in Piggy Intercity. There are three in total around the map that need gas to be used, and yes, you can run over infected. You can find gas around the map or buy it in the shop. Now, I honestly think this is one of the best things that Minitune has added because I've been playing this game for around two days now and having to run everywhere without having a car has been a little bit irritating. But now that he's actually pushed out the car update, if you head on over to the shop right here, under the supplies tab, you can now buy some fuel for 25 coins. Now, he did also add these four things right here, which I think is gonna be different ammos for the guns that are inside of Piggy Inter City. Now, speaking of guns, guys, since I'm actually level 14, I literally we need one more kill to hit level 15 you can tell from my inventory that we found almost every single gun inside of this game from the shotgun the pistol the sniper rifle as well as the smg now we do actually have ammo for every single one of those guns but the only gun i am now missing is the assault rifle so if you guys have a spare assault rifle and want to join my mikey mob community server make sure to let me know down in the comments but first things first guys is i want to focus in on these brand new cars which is actually conveniently parked out right in front oh my Get this guy as well. Let's walk out right here and oh gosh, guys. And uh oh, it's nighttime right now, so we gotta be kind of careful. But someone has actually driven one of the cars right in front of the spawn. Now, I don't know if there's any fuel in it, so let's actually fill it up right now and start to drive this bad boy. And oh my god, this guy's looking at it. There are so many people standing next to me. And oh my gosh, guys, it's kind of glitching out. Once again, guys, I did want to remind you guys that this game is still in beta, so expect a ton of glitches and bugs to occur. But right now, guys. As you can see how, how useful this car actually is from getting you around different locations in the map. Now, just as a reminder, guys, there are six different safe locations here inside of Piggy Intercity. There's the Carnival, the City, the Chapter 3 Refinery, and then there is also the School Location as well as the Police Station. So, list all of those out on the screen right now, guys. These are the locations where you are going to be able to find guns, brand new items, as well as food and water. Now, from the tweet from Minitune, you guys know that there are three different car location spawns and one of them is actually inside of the city over there. Mr. Editor, see if you can like actually zoom into that. And the two other locations are towards the back right of the map inside of chapter one alleys as well as the police station. So it looks like someone already used the car over there. So I'm gonna be bringing the Mikey Mob Horde right now all the way on over to this location just to show off on how these cars actually spawn and how you actually refill them with fuel. Now, if you guys follow this path, you can already see the car spawn all the way by the police station. Kind of zoom into that right now. I will be showing up a picture right now where you will be able to see the brand new car spawning right next to the police station. Now, the third car is actually right here next to the chapter one alleys. But oh, wait, I think I see a zombie right here. And if I'm correct, guys, if I kill one more zombie, oh my goodness, guys, wait, <gasps> wait, oh, wait, Carb, Carb found it. Hold on, wait, turn on this thing really quickly. What? You found it? Oh my God, you found the assault rifle, guys. Look at it. He is such a legend. Look at that beautiful gun. And oh my goodness, my man is sniping. And he just says easy inside of the chat. Well, guys, it looks like we found every single gun inside of Intercity, now including the assault rifle. But I can't get distracted. I got to show off this brand new car, which spawns right in the middle of chapter one alleys. Now, before Carb actually kills us, let's see if I can kill one more. And there we go, guys. We just 
leveled up to 15. Let's refill this car right now, and we're out of here. We are definitely out of here. Oh, gosh, guys. Look at all of these zombie hordes, and look, look at the Mikey Mouse right now. They're so beautiful. Shout out to every single one of them. Now, Carbon is going to be letting me use his AR that he just found because it's so beautiful, but first things first, guys, and I have to check out what we unlocked with level 15. Now, as you can see, guys, we can actually buy pistol ammunition for 20 coins each, and that's pretty good because we actually have a pistol inside of our inventory. Now, if you guys remember from yesterday's video, the guns were actually broken, where even if you aimed at a zombie with a crosshair, it wouldn't do any sort of damage, but I did want to tell you guys that Minitune did happen to fix that a little bit. Some shots will work, and some shots don't work. Once again, guys, this game is still in beta, so don't get too frustrated at it, but let's see if I can buy a ton of pistol ammo right now just to test it out, and now with that being said, guys, let's unequip this water bottle as well as the food and put the pistol and wait, wait where did I wait what the heck where is my pistol I dropped it give it back oh gosh guys let's see if the Mikey mob is nice and uh oh this guy Rafa has it this guy oh Wait, it got yoinked again! Oh! Oh! Uh, it, people keep on dropping it. Are you serious, guys? My Mikey Mob members are trying to steal my items. Okay, guys, we finally got my pistol back, and we have 10 ammo inside of our magazine. Now, according to the guide right here, it says that each pistol shot does 17 damage. The clip size is 17, and the reload is actually two seconds. I haven't really been able to find a fast way to get ammo, so if you guys have any tips, please let me know down in the description. And once again, guys, if you stay until the end of today's video, I will be showing you guys the fastest way to find guns and basically spawn them here inside of Piggy Intercity. But first things first, guys, is cue the intense music right here. We are about to kill our very first zombie. And oh, oh my goodness, guys, did you see that? All it takes was three different shots and that dude is dead. And oh my goodness, guys, this actually might be the fastest way to level up finding coins and using your pistol to actually kill all of these zombies. Now, I did want to mention a pretty cool glitch that you guys can do. I don't know if Minitune is supposed to be fixing this or not, but there is a way for you to actually avoid dropping your stuff once you get infected here inside of Piggy Intercity. And I'm going to actually showcase that right now, guys. So let's quickly run over to the Chapter 3 refinery. Okay, guys, we have a zombie chasing us right now and I am going to be getting purposefully infected so let's see if we can just get hit a few times and oh, oh my goodness guys this dude is about to kill me you know what I'm so sorry but you're not infecting me you are done for but every time an infected NPC actually hits you there is a small chance of having the yellow bar pop up where you start to become infected and oh there it is guys right there as you can see my screen turned red the yellow bar pops up but there is a way for you to actually avoid dying and dropping your stuff and all you gotta literally do is leave the game so I'm going to be turning on this screen right here. You guys can see my entire game. All you got to do is leave the game and oh, wait, you guys see my background right now. Hold up. Uh, wait a minute. There we go, guys. And then once you rejoin the server, you should actually be able to play the game without dropping your stuff just like that. And once we load up our character, here we go. And as you can tell, our inventory, we still have all of our items as well as all of our food. So that's a little bit of a glitch you guys can do once you get infected inside of Piggy Intercity. But now that we've showcased everything that is brand new inside of this latest intercity update my boy carbon is going to be picking me up inside of his car and letting me showcase the brand new assault rifle because yes guys we officially now have every single weapon here inside of piggy intercity and oh my goodness guys he just said i never said that um carbon can you just uh, please drive away thank you so much for that let's see if we can find a secluded area where we can test out all of these brand new intercity guns now while carb actually reconnects to the game i am going to be showcasing all of the other guns from the shotgun all the way to the sm and it looks like we got oh gosh we have an unsuspecting horde right behind us so let's see if we can test out this shotgun as you can see we have eight bullets and oh oh my goodness guys the shotgun does 10 to 50 damage and there's a high chance of you killing zombies at point blank range in one shot let's do that one more time reload really quickly and uh uh, ready? There we go. Dead? Oh gosh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The hitbox is a little bit kind of scary, but I am mowing down these zombies with one shot. This is amazing. Now, we do also have the sniper, so let's switch to that. Five bullets. Three, two, one. 
There we go, guys. This one does one shot as well. And I just killed that zombie with the sniper in one shot as well. And according to the stats, guys, the sniper rifle does 55 damage in one shot. So this is an instant kill weapon. No matter how far the zombie is, you should be able to kill them in one shot. But yep, guys, there's a small problem. You do have to reload after every shot. So once you actually shoot, spam press R if you guys are on computer. And let's see how accurate this crosshair is. This guy right here is pretty far. And oh, we missed right there. And no, we got to reload again. And... There we go, guys. We got a kill. And then, you know what? Let's save this last zombie for the SMG, which I think might be one of the best guns. But here we go, guys. Let's see if we can spray it. And... Oh! Oh! Um, you guys can see that, right? Uh, we ran out of ammo to kill that zombie right now. So the SMG, it shoots really fast, but you can see it only does 16 damage, but the clip size is 30. So if you can find a bunch of SMG ammo, this will definitely be a cool gun. But I think it might be time for us to test out the best gun inside of Intercity, which should be the AR. And Carbon, can you please drop it to me? Thank you so much. Let me yoink that really quickly. And as you can see, the damage is 19, the clip size is 30, and the reload is 2.5 seconds. So let's unequip our pistol right now, put on this bad boy, and oh my goodness, guys, look at how beautiful it is. This is amazing. Now, once again, guys, the last thing we're going to be talking about inside of today's video is how to spawn yourself some weapons here inside of Intercity. So make sure to keep on watching, but let's see if we can test this out in three, two, one. Oh, uh, um... Yeah, you guys see the hitboxes for these guns aren't perfect yet, so I didn't even do a single damage to that, but the AR is a very, very OP gun. If you guys can find it, I'm pretty sure it's the rarest gun inside of the game, so make sure to hold on to it. Mr. Carbon, here you go. Thank you so much for letting me use this bad boy right there, and yoink, 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 and just like that, guys, we are back in action. Okay, guys, now it comes to the main point of today's video, and that is how the heck do you spawn weapons here inside of Piggy Intercity? And the way that you actually do this is having a VIP server of your own. Now, I've been actually grinding on my Mikey Mob community server, which once again is linked down in the description. And all you guys have to do is create a route for where you can search every single safe location inside of the game, from the city to the refinery to every other location I mentioned earlier. Once you actually figure out the perfect route, there is a way for you to create a route and search every single item and search every single building for all of the guns inside of the game. Because once you actually run through all of them, all you gotta do is reset the VIP server and then you can do it all over again, which is why me, Mystic, and Carbon are all decked out with weapons. I'm pretty sure the only gun that Carbon is missing is the pistol and me and Mystic are missing the AR rifle. So if you guys actually end up grinding this out, you will be able to find weapons the more you play this game. Now, as you guys can see, me and Carbon are still using the combo of the ax as well as the shovel just to get max HP. But once again, guys, if you guys want more intercity tips and tricks and even some glitches that might put you a little bit ahead of the other players, Make sure to let me know down in the comments and don't forget to join the Mikey Mob guys. We continue to grow every single day and since the release of Intercity, I've been really, really enjoying playing this game. So make sure to show some love and support, but don't forget guys, make sure to also use the best code out there whenever you're purchasing Robux as well as premium and that is code Mikey. We'll see you guys in the next Intercity video. Have a fantastic day and goodbye everybody.